Well, here's the thing. Um, Missouri, where it took place, and just so you know, when the first time Kansas City uh, won the Super Bowl, Trump uh, congratulated the people of the state of Kansas. And although it's actually on the border between Kansas and Missouri, it's actually in Missouri, so it's more of a Missouri team than a Kansas team. But that being said, um, we what frustrates me is that whenever we have um, mass shootings or shootings in general, um, it is we are sitting here trying to figure out why we aren't able to prevent the most preventable thing to happen. And it's preventable, because, but no one is willing to do the, what needs to be done. I don't know if we, you know, we obviously can't go out with, uh, we're too big of a country. There's too many guns out there with kind of kind of gun ban, like they do in some other states. I mean, some other countries. But why the why the backlash? You know, the, the I get so frustrated with the backlash against any kind of aggressive gun safety policy. People are dying, and the 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 the, the, the real tragedy. And let's not forget, it was. Um, it, it, it was it was the anniversary, the sixth anniversary of the Parkland shooting. But you know what? Know what else it was? It was also the anniversary of the mass shooting at Northern Illinois. And you want to know what else happened? There were three police officers yesterday, or the day that it happened, shot in Washington D.C. You want to know what else happened? That same day, there was a mass shooting in Atlanta. I think at, at, at a college. This is preventable, and it's just so frustrating that. No one, no, I won't say no one, there are tons of folks who are willing to do what we need to do to combat gun violence. But the powers that be, the ones who will sit there and be very, look, there's a very good chance that the people who carried out this violence, I've not seen their pictures or their mugshots, they were used, but they were very, very well could have been at least one party, a, a, a person of color. They will quickly demonize a person of color. They will quickly demonize, and, and we we're, we're when these shootings happen, we keep talking about that particular shooting and that particular situation and addressing that unique situation, not addressing the universality of the fact that these are all gun deaths. These are all preventable gun deaths. And you and I both know if there's a shooting tomorrow, they're going to they're gonna push the gun aside, push the access to weapons aside, and it'll be about was a person uh, radicalized? What was their religion? What was their race? Was it their mental health? But they won't deal with the fact that too many people have access to guns and there's too many guns out on these streets. And the fact that it happened, you know, someone says more guns make us safer. There were at least 800 guns there because there was, there was 800 law enforcement officers. In addition to that, Missouri is an open carry state. So there are probably a ton of people there with guns. And the reason why the shooting happened is because too many goddamn people were carrying guns. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more, John. Uh, kudos to you for, for a great um, great kind of point. I, I think I saw videos of cops kind of looking around, trying to figure out what happened while fans were kind of chasing a suspect. And I saw cops pulling out, like, as soon as gunfire happened, running to their vans to get their bulletproof vest. And look, I'm not saying that cops have to die for us. What I'm saying is, you're, unless you're in a military state, you're, nobody's ever really prepared for an active shooter. And really, like, you could, you could prepare for what you're going to do and duck under and, and, and drills. You could prepare in that way. But you're not always on ready for, for an active shooter. Even cops, it's unfair to ask them to always be on standby, whether they're going to Dunkin' Donuts or a bank or, or picking up groceries at, 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 a, at, a, at a grocery store during their, their, their shift, right? It's unfair to, you just never know. There could be a, a, a shooter in a high rise, right? The, the, remember the Vegas shooting? Like, what was cops going to do on the ground there? They, they had to figure out where it's coming from first and it was coming from a building high in the sky, right? So it becomes such a logistical nightmare. So I, I'm not blaming cops. What I'm saying is cops aren't the solution here, obviously, right? 
I, I got in an argument. You made a great point about the race, right? Because as an Arab, and uh, I know as you, as, as a black guy, when when this happens, we immediately hope that it's a white person, right? Because their narrative changes so much depending on what it is. For instance, if these two groups of people, if they turn out to be some sort of Latino or black or whatever, they're just going to call it a gang shooting. And then the, the, the narrative kind of changes. It, it turns into gangs are running wild in the city and, and we have to do something about that. It, it has nothing to do with guns and they'll make it the point to be. I want to say my, my, my opinion on this and uh, uh, telling a story. I got in a Twitter kind of back and forth with somebody after this under a, a, some sort of Bears writers um, DMs or whatever it was, right? We were just going back and forth. And they were saying guns are the problem is mental health bills because we were blaming Republicans. Republicans are stopping any sort of gun legislation. And it's like, it's not the guns, it's mental health bills. And I replied, I said, they veto those too. Well, all Republicans veto any sort of mental health law and legislation that happens. They veto those too. So if it is mental health, then why aren't they passing those? So it's clearly not the solution. And then he said, um, oh, well, we can't live in a world without guns. Like, there's just too many guns. And my comment to that was, okay, so there's what? Just We have to accept that people are just, kids are going to have to just die for the sake of, like, is there's no solution to this? Like, it seems far-fetched to say, well, there's too many guns, can't do nothing, sorry, bye. Uh, guess what? There was prohibition in the 20s and the 30s, right? They... This country banned alcohol, John. Like, it's crazy to think about now because it's so everywhere. This country banned drinking something. Like, th this country instituted age laws and seatbelt laws, emission laws, drivers. Like, this country has always kind of fought this idea of where to put rules in. This isn't another, this isn't any different. It's time, it's always been time. It's been time for decades to do something about this. And I just want to make it clear there's only one group of people stopping it, and that's Republicans and Republican voters. Those are the only people why, and they're, they, have, they have some sort of responsibility on this as well. Oh.